Hello, I am Fjallsback and welcome to Europa Universalis, where we are in a war as the Knights of the Sun against the Hamadan. We are winning, but I don't have the amount of war score I would like, and it's mainly due to them having a oodles amount of forts. Oh crud, we are still losing a lot of monies. Interest is at 4 gold. Yeah, I really, really have to stop this war reasonably soon. So we don't come completely bankrupt. We are out of manpower as well. How many men do we actually need? 4,000, so that's not so bad. Oh, our uh, power projection just went under 25. So who is our rivals? Just insult one of them. Right, Marv, you are one of my rebels, so send insult. And we are back up above 25. Excellent. Right, so with this fort fall out in our favor, and then I think we'll call it a, a, a good enough, I guess. And then we are back into a period of recovering and recuperating and getting monies back and such. Okay, who did you piece out? Okay, these guys here. So I actually don't have to give them any ter territory anymore because they're not actually in the war. That's a bit unfortunate for, the f unfortunate for them. Because I was planning on giving them territory. Okay, so we want this to fall in our favor before that even has a chance to fall in our favor. Okay, we are still exploring with our uh, ships. Don't have that many options left, but there's a couple. Right now, they want out of the war. Not do that right this instant. Uh, is this one, this is the siege I want to look at. 35% chance. Nope, 49, and they are still at minus. Good. My friends are doing their th things as well. Right, we have an idea we could take, and that is a diplomatic one. We are not ahead on time in diplomatic tech. So we will not do that. I will take the diplomatic tech first, I think. Come on, siege. Uh, harsh life on the oceans, lose some sailors, that's fine. All right, that siege is over. We are 50-something in war score. They are at zero here, right. So. Let's see if we can get the peace deal going. Clear the offer again. War reps is definitely a thing I want. And then these two are my cores. This is the war goal. Uh, there's an aggressive expansion issue as well. Well, then I want to take this. Okay, not there, not there. Right, that's as far as I go. Aggressive expansion. They will get 100 points. And then other two nations could join. Cost a lot to core all of this. I have the points. Okay, I won't take all their monies. That would be nice though. And the question is, do I actually want to take a province less? and take more monies instead. Hmm. How big are these loans? They're like a hundred and something each. I have nine of them. So you can pay off one or two. OK, 
Okay, now they won't take max. Not quite. Okay, so 239 gold. We have a claim. That's the war goal. And then we have core here. We have claim here as well. Yeah, no, but I think we'll do this. They'll keep a province more, but I will have to. I will get to pay off a couple of loans. Let's do that then. Right, so you are my core, and that is all good. Unrest is still high though, because of the religious difference. You are a core as well. You are not. The autonomy is sky high though. Or it's going sky high rather. Development 14 and 19. The highly developed provinces and a uh, inland center of trade. Excellent. Right. My guys head to our capital. Actually head here and get rid of the marks first. How are we doing on the rebels? Not quite there, but almost. Get a new rival and I guess it's gonna be you. Oh, and you're yeah, losing nine gold a month. Mothballing you. So now we're losing seven. Yeah, these interests are really, really hurting us. Colony does as well. Army maintenance, reinforcements and mercs. And then army maintenance down as soon as we sort of Get rid of the marks. Come on, arrive here. There we go. Uh, sure, you can have access. Marks. Get out of here. question is to consolidate these guys just to uh, minimize there are 13 units just to minimize the upkeep down to 10 yeah I think I do you head over here and the maintenance way down then it's just a question of these rebels here the fish the schists and is that because we're converting them? Nope, not even. Where do I see the provinces? Here. Okay, there's a fair amount of them and mainly unrest, I guess. about two gold okay so reinforcements we can save a smidge that's about it and then here we can do one more claim and you come on home I'm going to bring you again And oh yeah, you can come on home first. Arabia goes to war with these guys. All right. Uh, just 
through relations for a while, just because you are my main ally. Right, these rebels, they will diminish slowly as as the uh, unrest goes down, war exhaustion, and as these cores get done. Mongolia loses some more land. Okay, fetishist zealots, that is down here. I actually don't have any uh, transport ships. Unrest war exhaustion, sky high overextension is gonna help here as well. So question is if I actually just uh, harsh treatment you. 50 points, yeah I think I will do that. Because this is just gonna be troublesome down here. These are the guys we just fought. I don't want them, them rebels, to succeed yet again. So I guess we'll have to mark up once that happens that they show up. The colonist not being present will tip us over into the positives. And I have money to repay at least one loan. When is the next one done in 34? Generally don't want to repay them early when I have a lot of loans because they'll just speed up the inflation. Could just lower the inflation that also lowers the interests. And 10 is a break point. So I think I will lower you a smidge at least. That helps somewhat. Where states demand control of province. That is the clergy. Clergy. You gain this thing, I guess. Sure. Okay, so these separatists, 126 points to harsh treatment them. Um, yeah, and they are gonna fire. I'd rather fight them, but I'm afraid they will be larger than uh, the amount of men I have. Okay, so these guys here though. Fort. Yeah, hopefully I can deal with them. I could, of course, use Diplo points to lower my war exhaustion. And really lower the rebellion risk. Granted, that will get most of the provinces out of range, but these guys, they will rebel because, you know, 21, 19, 17, 17, and 14. So they will rebel. It's just a question of how big that rebellion is going to be to actually see that. How big it's likely to be. No, not here. We 26k. Yeah, I definitely don't want that. Right, I think I'm gonna reduce my work session. Like so. I should help here. And then I will harsh treatment you. So don't have to fight these guys for now. And the fetishists are back up there. 
just to get you out of here. Right, and hopefully that won't be too many problems in the near future then. Get the course done, that would help as well. Right, we are not losing too much money. These interests are annoyingly high. Right, we can go speed forward maybe. Right here. That one claim, do that one, and stop building spy network, come on home, and improve relations. Manpower 19k or so. Right, how much interest? Is there on this one particular loan? Do you see that? 4%. Don't see exactly how much we'll pay for it, or we'll pay less. But we'll just auto repay it once we get there, and that will be now. 5, 4, 15 to 3, 69, and all right. That definitely helps. Golden Era for Lancaster. Well, good for them. Okay, Colony done in Svelandam. You still have a fair amount of unrest for some stupid reason. I just colonized you. Mm. So I should get the conversion going on the same here. Right, so. Where are we gonna colonize next? Uh, possible colonies. Go by development. Then it's Ile de Bourbon here with no people on here and it's next to the one we have already and all sorts of things. So let's just do that. Granted, as soon as we do that, we will lose money again, but we're making it as the time goes at least. Right, and here we actually got gold. Okay, it's not going to give us a lot of gold. Yeah, not that much. Okay, this expires in 42. This helps us quite a, um, a fair amount. 26 gold. Exploration done. Okay, one core that'll lower the unrest a bit, and the other core will lower it even more, or down to zero at least from that source. Roman Empire wants access, sure. Don't know why you have to go through me in order to get to some fight over here. Right, the core is done. Which means unrest is negative. War exhaustion is almost gone as well. So that'll be five months or so. Size here is still quite large. Right here, for instance. Separatism, yeah. Right, so we are going to have issues, probably. Probably. Smugglers. 
So either pay some money right now or get less trade and less national tax for 10 years. Guess we're paying some money now then. Hey, we are, as I say, about to say, we are in profit. So when the colony arrives, we're still going to have a profit. And it did right there. Excellent. You are fully reinforced. No, you had uh, oh, 11 guys here. Right, the separatists are back. I can't even harsh treatment them. 20, 26k. That is a lot of troops, more than I have. That's not going to be good for us. So, I guess I will harsh treatment you again. Costs a lot of points though. Oh, Mongolia has gone bankrupt. It's been actually been a while since they went bankrupt last. So it's about time they did so again, I guess. And you are making four points a month, so that's quite useless. Right, the levy. Keep it at a modest level. The nobility loses some loyalty. Lose money and get another loan. I don't really want to do that. But that gives loyalty, and we need no such things. Now, nah, let's do it this way. Right, can I actually do something with the estates? Okay, native uprising and native assimilation. They gain some influence, but we can do that. Support of the clergy. Make a donation or demand admin points. So we can demand uh, military points at some point from these guys, right? another set of armies they'll lose loyalty a conquistador now that conquistador we don't really need not at the moment right recall our diplomat and you head in here I want to get my finances in order before actually we get into a second war. And with this amount of money a month, that's going to take a long while. And we are again at a rebel territory here. Right? Let's just take you all the way down. And again, these separatists. Twenty-six thousand. Darn it! Darn it! Okay, we are no longer a claim against Delhi, so we need to get a new one, I guess. All right. Um, you know, claim here or lose the stability? I guess we'll just take a claim rather than lose the stability. That seems like an obvious choice. Right, that will be your last order, at least for the time being. These guys... Yeah, they're gonna fire really soon. Guess we'll have to mark up and take him out. But that will be in the next episode. I will take a break here. Thank you very much for watching.